All right, in this video, we are going to find a major axis, minor axis, foci, and we're going to graph an ellipse. We've got a lot of things going on here. Uh, several of the problems in our textbook will only cover like one or two of these points, so really this is like a lot of problems combined into one. So we're covering the whole big picture of the ellipse. So let me start with an equation of an ellipse. So we have, let's see, 16 x squared plus 4y squared equals 64. Now this is in a general form and we're going to put it in the standard form for our conic sections in our textbook, what they call standard form. Okay, that means we want this equal to 1, so we're going to divide everything by 64. Okay. and we're going to reduce each fraction. So the 16 cancels with the 64 and I am left with x squared over 4 plus the 4 cancels the 64 and so I'm left with y squared over 16 equals 1. Now Which one of these is A? Well, A is always the largest between A, B, and C for ellipses. So 16 is A squared because our formula, this is actually a vertical ellipse. The formula for a vertical ellipse at centered at 0, 0 is X squared over B squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. And so now we can pick things out from the positions they're in. So a squared equals 16. Taking the square root, that means that a will equal 4. And b squared equals 4. So that means that b will equal, square root of 4 is 2. Okay, now, so if I want to do that much for my graph, um, a squared, remember, is under the y. How do I know? Because this is the larger number. a is always the largest number in an ellipse. So I will count up four units. So I just go 1, 2, 3, 4. There's where that is part of A, and then go back down from the center. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. That would be negative A right there. And then to the right, I'm going to go left and right, two units. So 1, 2 units. This is going to be B. And then left, 1, 2 units, and this will be negative B. Now, um, mine always end up looking like footballs or something, but if you just connect these dots and try to get it as close to an oval elliptical shape as you can, I've actually just drawn the ellipse. Now what I have to do um, is I have to identify the foci and find them. Well, uh, I have to use c squared equals a squared minus b squared. Well, we've already got a squared and b squared here. So c squared equals 16 minus 4. Okay, so c squared is equal to 16, take away 4 is 12. And so that means that C will be the square root of 12. And if we just take a calculator and evaluate the square root of 12, I get 
roughly 3.46, which rounds to 3.5. So approximately 3.5 units. So what does that mean? I go up here and count one, two, one, two, three and a half units. About right there will be one. And one, two, three and a half units. There will be my other focal point. All right, so let's get the coordinates of my focus or foci, well, you could say. So we'll put both of them on here. Are at zero comma plus or minus 3.5. Okay, my um, vertices Okay, so vertex, I'm just going to do plural. So vertices, do both points at once. Are at, now remember, vertices are related to A, so it's under Y. So square root of 16 we had was 4. So it's going to be 0, comma, plus or minus 4. And then co-vertices, are at plus or minus 2, comma, 0. And remember, our center for this is 0, 0. How do I know? There is nothing added to or subtracted from the x squareds or y squareds in the numerator. That's how I know. All right, we have just identified all of the parts of our ellipse and graphed it. So have fun. These are awesome. And so are you. Have a great day.